Well, human, we are smart. But when it comes to nature, these African primates, the baboons, are way better smart. They live into a big family, jumping, running up and down the trees, the scavengers. They can see, detect, smell, kill anything. And also, one big thing, they can groom themselves because they live in a very social family. And that makes one of the best IQ members of the wildlife in Africa today. Their social families, their gatherings, and their time spent together with the young and the elders make them one of the strong moves of the big families in the landscape of Africa. Well, something famous or one of the key characteristics of these um, primates uh, when we focus only into the baboons is their social behavior. They are one of the very social animals that always move in a big park or in a big families and they're always looking after each other in case of predators and they are and their human level for understanding on how they care their youngs and the other member of the family that is what make these animals one of the best IQ world animals in the planet today. All right, let's see or let's look at one uh, characteristics in their body forms of these baboons. So one thing we need to know is baboons are some of the world largest monkeys. So in the monkey families, baboons are the bigger ones. And the males of a different species can range from, three, from 33 to 82 pounds and the different species because we've got different species of baboons but that body size of 32 to 80 is not including their tail so sometimes can be a 40 inches long including substantial tail that can vary into length baboon generally prefer the savanna area that's why they're very common in the eastern, central, and the south part of Africa, but also other type of baboons and other species of baboons prefer the semi arid habitats. And if you come to Tanzania, to the north part of Tanzania, when you go to the Lake Manyara National Park, which is a dense forest or it's a tropical forest, you will also observe these big, large troops of baboons. So now we come to realize not just the savanna or the semi arid habits, but also the tropical forest. You will see these primates. So, among the most common question I always get across is the baboon tumors or the juno. And this means, simply means, are they active during the night or are they active during the day? Well, baboons are juno. They, they are very juno. They are very active during the day. They spend most of the time during the day feeding and grooming themselves. And one thing also we need to understand on one of their characteristics is um, baboons, they are very territorial. They are very territorial, but also where do baboons sleep? Baboons sleep on the trees or in the high cliffs or on top of the high rocks. So the, during the night, they spend those times to sleep on those areas because can, they can set themselves away from predators. It's easy for them to observe predators when they come at night because they sleep then in eight hours sleep stopping. And one thing again is during the day you will find themselves being roaming around and find on the open savanna and woodland areas. So that's 
that's how the law goes. And another question is, are the moons aggressive? Yes, they are very aggressive, especially when they encounter human beings or, or when they encounter other predators. They can be very aggressive. And this is because they are like gorillas or bulls. They are only dangerous when provoking or threatening. They are hardly attacking human beings. And they are also social animals, as I said before. But under threat, very strong canine teeth and they can display as the sign of aggression. Well, um, there's so many interesting stories about the world, but um, let's finish with these stories of uh, what is the world is. Well, grasses make up large of their diet among various seeds, oats, Sometimes many roots, you know, the bark of the trees and sap, and all this how they get all their varieties of plants, how they get nutrition. But also, sometimes baboons they eat insect, small aquatic meat, you know, like fish, shellfish, birds. You know, sometimes they can hunt even to velvet monkeys or even a small antelopes so you can see themselves associated with antelopes but also they can predators against antelopes and use that 